Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to your shins. Exhale, we pull down, good. So from here, warming up on this afternoon, guys. Inhale, circle the stand, take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, step your feet hip width apart, grab a hold of your right wrist with your left fingertips and reach right up and out of your right side body. Yeah, so nice big side bend on your right side. Connecting with our breath today, guys, throughout this Pilates Express class. Inhale through center through our nose. Exhale, grab a hold of your left wrist with your right fingertips and try to move into a nice long lateral bend. So big, long stretch through your left side body. Beautiful job, guys. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release your hands down behind your back. So you're gonna interlace your fingers behind your back. Find a little bind here. So opening up through your chest and shoulders, push your sternum forward, take a breath in through our nose. As we exhale, let's tip forward from the hips. Come all the way down. Press your knuckles up towards the sky as you find a hip hinge. From here, can you heel toe, heel toe your feet a little wider apart? Take an inhale, let your head be nice and heavy here. Good, as you exhale, fingertips come down to the mat. Leave your right hand grounded. Open up your left arm into a nice easy twist. Yeah, so we're just warming up through our spine here this afternoon, guys. Big inhale. And as you exhale, take your left fingertips down, spin and peel open through your right fingertips, looking over your right shoulder, yes. Beautiful job, you guys. So we're warming up for a lower body standing series here. Inhale, hands come back to the mat. From here, can you roll yourself up bone by bone, one vertebra at a time, shoulders come up, back and down. Beautiful job, guys. Take one more inhale here. As we exhale, tilt from the hips last time, come all the way forward. We're gonna try that again with a little more tempo. Right palm is down, left palm opens up. Really nice, guys. Inhale, left hand comes down. Open your right arm up. See if we can deepen that twist a little bit more. That's it, good. Exhale, right hand comes down. From here, let's heel toe, heel toe your feet to come together in the center of your mat and then roll yourself up bone by bone. Little shoulder roll up, back and down. Nice work, guys. So this is our express class. We're gonna start our first round of exercises this morning. If you have some small dumbbells, go ahead and pick them up now. We're gonna start with a nice wide stance. Toes angle out. We're gonna start with a, just a little easy plie squat. So we're gonna drop down and up. So a little inhale. So I'm gonna cue your Pilates breath here. You wanna take an inhale through your nose to fill up and a little exhale through your mouth almost like you're blowing out through a straw. So we inhale down, exhale, that's it. So we're gonna get a little bit of heart rate up here, guys, waking up into your hips today. If this is the first time moving your body today, welcome to a little heart rate work. If this is just your afternoon little exercise snack, I like to call it a snack, because it's a little chance for us to get the heart rate going. Let's go, four more. Down and up, nice and strong. Let's try for four, and tall. Three, if you have no weights, your hands are just on your hips. Down and hold here, guys. Hold your plie. Can you flip your palms to face towards me? Keep your elbows nice and high. The movement is exhale, inhale. So waking up through our shoulders here, little breath out as we press your weight over top of your head. That's it. So we want to connect with our breath. Inhale to lower, exhale to go up. So if you have a heavier set of dumbbells that you want to put into this movement, you can go fives. Yes, try to sink a little bit lower, Karen. Sink into your knees there, yes, good girl. Inhale, nice, Jennifer, welcome. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna add a little plie here, guys. So let's take it down, plie, straighten up. So the arms and legs straight at the same time, yes. Ooh, that feels nice. Good job, you guys, happy Monday. Really great time for you to set an intention for your week of movement. Exhale, let's go for eight. Whew, I was just saying to Karen before we started, January is a really tough month anyway to move, regardless of what 2021 is presenting us with. So keep it moving. Last two, watch the change, guys. We're gonna pulse down for three and go up for one. Three, two, one, then exhale, follow through. So drop. So we've got a little bit of inner thighs. Yes, three, two, one. Take it up nice and strong. Again, three, two. Let's go four more like that. Hi, Vera. Two, one. Exhale. When you get to the top, think about squeezing your glute cheeks together as much as you can. Tight, 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 tight. Three, two, one. Exhale. Last time. Three, two, 
one, holding at the top, you guys, turn all 10 toes straight. Can you dive forward from your hips? Come right over to a forward fold. Plant your right palm. This is from our warm up. Open the left shoulder up. See if you have any more room to really twist and rotate. Beautiful job, guys. Left fingertips touch down. Touch the left weight down. Open your right arm up. Wide legged twist. Beautiful job, guys. Tap your weight down. Roll it up. If you have a heavier dumbbell and you want to try to add on, go ahead and switch that dumbbell up or come with me for our second set. So we go down and press. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, good, full squat. Squeeze the top. You got it, guys. Four. And up. Three. Exhale. Two. Are you ready for the down three up one? Let's go. Down. Three. Two. One, big breath out, squeeze. So notice how you can feel the whole body working together. That's it. You're with me, Cheryl and Eric. Two, one, exhale. Yes, now can you try to sit a little bit lower each time, you guys. You got four more rounds, four. Good, exhale, take it up. Ooh, whenever we take weight up over our shoulders, the heart rate starts to climb, yeah? Good, good. And one, exhale, last time, low. Now, can you go down and hold for me here? Come on down into your squat and hold. We're gonna alternate a little heel lift. Right heel, drop, left heel, drop. So it's a little lift. I want you to press into all five toes, stretching out through your arches there. All right, guys, let's take this pace up a little bit. Right and left, right and left. Sink nice and low. So the shoulders are working to keep a nice 90 degree angle. We're just pushing into the ball of the right and left foot. Find that little tempo. Yes, think nice and low. Cheryl, good job. That's it, shoulders back, chest is up. We go eight, eight, seven. Keep your breath nice and steady. Push and push, relevate. Good morning, welcome D, four. Looking good guys, three. Last two. Oh yeah, feeling the thighs today. From here, relax the arms down, roll up, straighten your thighs, big shoulder roll. Heel toe your feet to come together. Let's turn forward on your mat. Big toes to touch. We're gonna work a little series where we hinge from our waist. Your dumbbells come forward to hang. Extend your right leg out behind you. We're gonna lift the back leg and drop. Little exhale and down. So you're hinging from your waist. We're gonna draw the navel in towards your spine. Let's go four. Good, now option to come with me if you like. We're gonna add a little tricep extension here. Pull your elbows up so we squeeze. So as you kick the right leg out, zip up your core, and option to add that tricep extension. So we're making this a little bit more compound. Really think about squeezing at the top. Let's go eight more. Push it out, guys. Eight. Yeah, so we're diving right into the work today. We have 35 minutes of work. Exhale, last four. Good. Three. Last two here, guys. Can you step your right foot forward to meet your left? Inhale with the weights in your hands. Breath in. And then exhale, fold. Take your time. So with Pilates, with the length and strength, we work that together. So let your head be heavy here. So I'm going to invite you to imagine yourself rolling yourself up one bone by bone. Look, think about what that looks like. Your spine articulates one vertebra at a time rolling up, back, and down. Let's send the left leg out, setting this up. Find a little hip hinge. Palms reach forward. Nice, long, flat back. We're gonna start with an exhale. Little lift of that back leg. Squeeze your left blue cheek. Little lift. All right, option to add the kick back if you want it. Squeeze and center. Lift it up, bring it down. Nice and slow and control. Keep that going now. Up and in, good. So Cheryl, try to think about really sinking into that right knee, lifting the back leg, good. Steph, you can dive forward a little bit more. So keep your right knee bent, Steph. That a girl, that's it. So keep your hip hinge strong. Good, Cheryl, nice adjustment, Karen. Let's go for four, center, three. I love seeing you on the screen, two. We're all together. Take the left foot forward, inhale, reach up. Take a breath in. As we exhale, we're gonna flow all the way down into a fold. Can you take your weights to the floor? From here, bend your knees, plant your palms, step your right leg back, left leg back into the top of a push-up. High plank here, guys. Wrist creases underneath your shoulders. Tap your knees and straighten. So we inhale down. So we're trying to wake up your transverse abdominals today. 
I want you to think about digging your big toes into the mat. Inhale, exhale. So the breath is in through our nose and out of our mouth. Inhale, can you hear that connection with our breath? Inhale, so waking up our chest, our shoulders, our triceps, we have four, center, three, that's it, you guys stay with me, two, and last one here, hold your high plank, cover eight, seven, push out of your palm, six, five, zip up your inner thighs, four, three, two, gently take your knees nice and wide, send your hips back, easy child's pose, yes, big inhale, the breaks are quick, guys, when you're ready, come back and meet me, high plank, Dig the toes, zip up your inner thighs. Simply count breaths. Engage. Here we go, eight knee taps here. Inhale, Inhale. touch eight. Exhale, tap seven. Exhale. Push it up, good. Touch six. So it's a really, really small movement. Nice job, Seth. Exhale. Keep thinking about drawing your navel into your spine. So you're really drawing everything in. Good, Karen, keep pushing out of your palms. Engage your triceps. Push, down, and up, good. Inhale. Exhale, last and center. Hold it up. Stay with me, gang. For eight, it's seven. Squeeze six, squeeze five, four. Look to the top of your mat. Three, two. From here, we're going to take itty bitty steps to meet the back of your wrist creases at the top of your mat in a forward fold. Do you see your weights there, gang? Grab your weights. Roll yourself back up. Beautiful job. I'm gonna switch directions. You guys can stay just as you are. Let's step your left leg back, right leg is forward. Setting up for a little split lunge movement here. Palms are by your sides with weights or no weights. Single split lunge. We go down and up. Drop, rest. Inhale, exhale. So I want you to imagine you're in an elevator and we're going down to the basement and in to the penthouse. <laughs> So we want to avoid a forward back motion here and think about staying straight up and down. Drop, exhale, oh, I can feel my thighs. Your right glute should be burning, left hip flexors open. We go for four, option to keep your arms by your side if you don't like the clean and press. Two, oh, I love me a good pulse, guys. Let's take it down, pulse eight and seven. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. Push your sternum forward. Oh yeah. Eight more, we pulse. Eight, seven, six, yes, and five. Stay with, it's four, three. Ready to spring your left foot forward. Meet your right, top of mat, inhale. Good job, you guys, exhale. I want you to enjoy the lengthening series. The stretches are there for you. Take an inhale here. Simply count Heart rate should be moving a little bit more, guys. Slowly start to restack yourself all the way up. Beautiful job, really nice. Let's set up on the opposite side. Left foot goes forward, right leg goes back. So check my back ankle here. You're gonna pop your right heel right off the mat. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips. We're going straight down and straight up. So this time let's add a curl. So instead of an overhead press, if you wanna bring the upper body into play, Ooh, drop. All right, so listen carefully, guys. Think about some cues here. Can you put your weight in your left heel? Dig into your right big toe. Inhale, exhale. So one breath, one movement. You're in that elevator, you guys. We're going down and up. Inhale, let's go. Four more, nice and slow. Four, tall, three, it's two. Last one, you know how I like to pulse it, guys. Bring it down, pulse. Pull your shoulder blades together. Push your chest forward, a little down and up. We go for eight, it's seven, six, pulse five. Go four, three, two, step your right foot forward. Inhale to reach up, exhale, we fold. I think you know where we're going, right, you guys? Tap your weights down, bend your knees a lot. Step your right leg back. Left leg back to your top of a push-up, high plank. This time, it changes a little bit here, guys. We're gonna take our hips up and back, downward facing dog, back to high plank, tap your knees, tricep press up, back up to center. All right, let's try that together. So inhale, take your hips up, center, push, center. So if you want to drop to knees for that tricep press up, 
by all means. This is your workout today, guys. So it's from knees or straight legs. Drop, press, good. Go full body work here. Good job, Steph. Come on back in when you're ready, girl. You wanna hug your elbows in on the push-up. Pull your elbows nice and tight to your body. Good job, you got it, Cheryl. Yes, Jen, Vera, you're with me. Nice work. Full body weight here. Let's go, two more guys. Down dog, plank, press, and center. Last time, down, plank. Let's take a little well-deserved wide-legged child. So we kind of call this clamshell in our Pilates mat series, and we call it child's pose in yoga. Pretty similar. Oh, I feel my heart rate up there today for sure. Take a big breath in and a big exhale out. <sighs> a little hot sound out of your mouth. Okay, let's crawl your fingertips back to your knees. Great job, you guys. Let's take a moment to spin onto your bum. So if you've got your cameras on, can you adjust that so I can see you right on your mat today? If you've got your cameras for me, yes. All right, so let's start with a seated position. So you're gonna start with your shoulders on top of your hips. If you have a small Pilates ball, a yoga block, a towel, anything that you can pop in between your knees. We're gonna turn on our adductor muscles here. Let's bring your hands to five finger pad points. So you feel a little bit of resistance through your fingertips. So your chest, your shoulders turn on. They should be kind of white. You feel resistance? Good. All right, from here, you guys, take a nice inhale, reach five finger pads up, and then exhale, squeeze your ball, curl your tailbone under, come halfway back. So inhale to come up. Big inhale. If I was in the room with you, I'd hear a big exhale out of your mouth and you squeeze the ball. Again, inhale to grow. Nice and tall. Exhale, squeeze. So we feel our chest, our shoulders, our upper and lower abs are working together. Then squeeze as you scoop your belly in. Let's go, two more. Inhale. I want you to get used to this feeling of filling your rib cage and then emptying through your exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your ball. Feel your inner thighs connect with your transverse abdominals. Last one, take it up. Now exhale, come halfway back. Hold it here. Now option to stay. Let's try a little pulse. Squeeze. So if you have something between your knees, it's sh sh if you don't have a prop, just keep pushing into your five finger pads. Notice how there's a little pulse going on through my chest and shoulders. Listen to my breath. Sh 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 One more set of eight, lean back a little further if you want a little bit more heat, guys. Little pulse, upper and lower abs working together so strong. We have five, pulse, six, four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale, fold over top of your thighs. Let your head be nice and heavy here, guys. Softening your jaw, take an inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna roll all the way up. Nice work, guys. Take a breath. Come on to all fours. If you have a ball, guys, we're gonna catch it right between. Is too loud? All right, right between your right ankle bone and your back of your knee. So let's come into quadruped. See if you can find that little ball behind the back of your thigh. We're gonna work on a little exhale. So we take the ball up and down. Little push, release. Little squeeze. So we're in an all four point position. Little quadruped. If you don't have a ball, no problem. Just keep that 90 degree angle through your back heel. You push. Release. Exhale. Get into your groove, guys. You got it. Spread your fingers really wide. Push out of your palms as you take your heel to the ceiling. We go for four. If you've got that ball, keep that squeeze going. Two. Everyone, take it up, hold it here for me. We're gonna hold it in this extended position, looking down between your thumbs at your mat. Can you slowly start to float your left arm up and away? This is tricky, this is hard. We're focusing on some balance here. Hover and hold. Keep your breath nice and steady. For three, two, one. Follow me, guys. Left hand finds the mat, right knee touches down. Reach around, take the ball in front of you. Walk your hands back to a little fold. So you're gonna come into an easy forward fold. We wanna feel that length across the right hamstring, left hamstring, inhale. 
big exhale, bending at your knees, crawling yourself back up into your four point position. Take the left, uh, the ball underneath the left back of your knee. So setting this up, wrists are underneath shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Flexing your left heel, we take it up and down. Now find that breath, find that Pilates breath. I'm gonna come see you guys at the screen. We're trying to keep a 90 degree angle with our left heel, push. Awesome, really nice, Steph. Try to straighten out your elbows a bit, Steph, if you can. Push out of the mat. Yes, good. Squeeze, really nice, Cheryl. Karen, flex your left ankle. Flex it to the ankle bone. Karen, yeah. Squeeze it up. D, you're with us, Vera, Eric, Jen. Keep going, guys. Use your breath, eight. And center, exhale, seven. Release, try not to forget about our lower abs here, right? We're trying to stay pulled in for our ribs. Four, and center, squeeze three, release. Two, oh, I feel my glutes this morning. Last one here, tap your knee down. Take the ball away. This time, bring the ball with you as you forward fold. All right? So if you have a ball or a prop, we're gonna roll all the way up. And if you're able to place that prop between your knees. So from here, I'm gonna show you from forward. Your feet are hip width apart. We're gonna sweep our arms back and sink into a chair pose. So from here, from the side, it looks like this. From here, let's bring our hands to cross at our shoulders. We're gonna do two rounds of eight, little pulses here. So if you have a ball or not, pulse, pulse. So there's a little tiny level change in your head. You got it. Great work, you guys. Think about putting your weight into your heels. Keep your toes nice and light, chest is proud. Ooh, give me a little thumbs up if you can feel this guy. Keep going. Yeah, me too, me too, me too. Four, three, so very low impact, but lots of low impacts, but lots of, um, it's very effective as I'm looking for. <laughs> three, two, keep the ball where it is. Inhale, grow, fill. And then exhale to dive down. Ooh. Settling on this fold, guys. Take a big inhale. Oh yeah. And a big exhale to deepen your fold a little more. Great job. Excellent work, you guys. All right, moving on. We're gonna take the prop away from the thighs. Come right down onto your bum. From here, let's find yourself right on your bum cheeks. That same prop is gonna sneak right back between your knees here. I want you to find yourself in the center of your mat. Reach your arms out. Now, as we exhale, you're gonna squeeze the ball and slowly curl yourself down one vertebra at a time, bone by bone. That's it, nice and slow, Karen. Yes. Feel the abs, inner thighs working together. When you arrive on the floor, pick your legs up into the tabletop and the back of your neck is heavy now. So your knees stack over top of your hips. You're making a nice 90 degree angle with your lower body. Hands come down by your sides. We're gonna work to a little reverse crunch here. So we inhale through our nose. As we exhale, squeeze the ball, scoop your lower ribs down and in. So the knees come towards the chest. Let's take that to tempo here, guys. So we're gonna inhale, center, squeeze. In, into our nose, out through our mouth. And it's almost like you're pushing your air out of a little tiny straw. So it's so through pursed lips, little exhale. Try to avoid a swing and try to think if you can really narrow in. Inner thighs, lower abs, release. All right, guys, option to stay with just this lower body. If you wanna add on and work a little bit more challenging with me, Bring your fingertips behind your head. It's a little curl, up and down. So we're adding a little upper body crunch to this lower reverse crunch, if you want it. So if our mind is sort of wandering back to what we have to do after we finish our workout, let's try to bring it back to the mat right now. Stay in, exhale and center, exhale and center. Take it up. Now, option to stay here, guys, if you wanna make it harder, keep the same pace, straighten the legs out. Yes, so that's a third option for you if it's there. Try not to overdo it. If you have pain in your back, go back to your bent knees. This is for you. If there's pain in the lower back, keep it 90 degrees. Let's go, four more. It's four, release, three, release. Last two, take it up and hold for me here, guys. Tuck your chin, peel your shoulder blades up away from your mat a little higher. Can you reach your right hand past your right thigh? That's it. Good job, Cheryl. Reach the left, that's it, Steph. Tuck, 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 reach a little higher. Everything's engaged, isometric four, 
three, two, really gently hug your knees in. Good job, you guys. Take a little sway, right and left. I love it. Big inhale. As we exhale, let's send the legs all the way out. Reach your arms right up over your head. Nice big full body stretch. Whew. Should feel great from here. We are gonna go ahead and roll ourselves up any way we know how. You got it. Let's take the prop off to the side. So let's set up for a little side lateral plank for some oblique work. So I'm gonna invite you onto the right side of your body. We're gonna hug the right elbow in towards your right rib cage. Fold your heels behind you. You got it. From here, we're gonna press into your right elbow as you lift your hips up. Yeah, good. So that right hip bone is coming away from the mat. Can you send your left arm all the way up towards the sky? So this is option one, guys. We're gonna do a little rotation here, inhale. As you exhale, scoop and reach the left fingertips behind you. Inhale to stack it back up on front and center. So we exhale to scoop. Inhale to open up. Good, so using your breath to twist from the base of your ribs. Now, option to stay here, you guys, if you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, I invite you to take your left leg out. Yes, good job, you guys, taking that challenge on this Monday. Good, so the exhale on the twist. Inhale as you open up. Exhale on your twist. Inhale as we open. Three more here, guys. So you should be feeling your right glute cheek, your right oblique, your right shoulder, and our left hip and glute. Two. Good. One more time. Stay with me, guys. Rotate. Come back to center and hold here. So if you don't have that left leg extended, can you try and do it with me now? Flex the ankle. We're going to pulse. Little pulse. Little side leg lift here. Nice work. Good. Steph, can you bring your elbow a little closer to you, love? Bring it in. Lift and lift. You got it, Steph. Pulse and pulse. That's better. More protection on your shoulder there. We go four. Oh my goodness, I'm shaking. Three. Ooh. Last two. Let's bring everything down to your right hip. Watch the transition, guys. Oh, we're going to be little tiny dancers today. Walk your left leg around your right. So you're crossing your left around your right. We're gonna just do a nice little easy twist for our glutes there. So hugging your left knee into your right armpit. Little gentle seated twist. Ooh, I definitely felt that one. Nice work, you guys. Whatever we do to one side, we gotta do to the other. So when you're ready, we're gonna release your twist and then swing your legs around, setting up for the left side. So be really mindful, guys, when you set up. Hug your elbow in like you're over-exaggerating. Fold your heels behind you, pressing into your lateral plank. Shoulder over top of your elbow. Let's take your right arm up. Really energize your right fingertips. Option one, let's start. Squeeze to rotate. Inhale to fill. Exhale, twist to rotate. Inhale, fill to turn. Exhale, twist. All right, guys, if you want to add on, we can take that right leg out and hover at the top. So lots of lateral work here. Try to go for a little bit of a deeper twist each time if you can. Exhale, two more. Ooh, keep that right leg up if it's hovering. You got this, good job, Cheryl, one more. Now take it up. If that top leg isn't hovered, go ahead and try and join us. Flex the ankle, Dorsey flex. We're gonna pulse this right leg up. Good, Karen. Keep zipping up your abs. You got this, Steph. Vera, I know you're with us. V, you're back in, girl. Pulse it out for five, four, three, two, and it is one. Oh, yeah. So coming down onto your left glute. I felt that. Wrapping your right foot around. So crossing your right ankle bone over your left knee. So you might feel a stretch, like I already feel this. <laughs> so you can hang here, or you might consider bringing your right knee to your left armpit. Take your right fingertips to the floor behind you. Whew. All right, you guys, so good. We're on the home stretch here. A little bit more abdominal work to do together today. So come all the way back to your center. We're gonna uncross our little bind. And if you have dumbbells close to you, can you bring your little dumbbells back into your hands? Threes or fives are great. We're gonna finish off with some core work with our upper body. So we're gonna come right onto our back. From here, the arms reach up over our head. We're gonna find tabletop. From here, what I wanna do is an opposite arm, opposite leg extension. So if you can extend your leg straight up, we're gonna inhale, lower the right leg as the left arm goes down over your head, then exhale, bring it back. 
same thing, other side. Inhale, left leg goes down, right arm goes up. You got it, guys. Once you get a nice little rhythm going, it's inhale as you reach, exhale as you come back. Yeah, so we're trying to keep your ribs knitted down, your low back nice and flat on your mat as much as you can. Good, inhale to take it down, eight, seven, you got it, reach six. Awesome job, guys. We're on the home stretch. Stay with me for feels so good this Monday, starting with positive movement. Last one here. Now from here, guys, try this with me. Bend your knees, rock and roll yourself up to pause on your sitting bones. Yeah, can you hold here? So option to tap your feet if you need, or keep these legs hovering. We're gonna rotate right and left, nice and easy here. We go, turn eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set of eight. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center, guys. Find your way all the way onto your back. Kick the legs up. Second set to finish this off, guys. Here we go. Right leg goes down, left arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, back to center. You got it, guys. Upper and lower abs are working together here. Nice and slow. Try to keep your ribs down into your mat. Use your breath to connect. Inhale down, exhale up. Great work, you guys. Center. All right. Let's give yourself a second round to try this out. From here, bend your knees. Little rock and roll. See if you can catch your balance on your glutes. Hover and hold. We take it. Right and left and right and left. Option to touch both feet down if you need and just lift one leg. We've got eight, seven, wherever you are. Just own this today, guys. Four. Three, okay, let's find some stillness in center, hold. Take your weights down to the side. Catch behind your knee creases here. Okay, option to stay. Extend right leg up, hold. Yes, yes, extend left leg out if you've got it. Good job, Steph. Right fingertips out, left fingertips out. Any variation of those four options? Three, two, and it is one round is back. Good job, you guys. Give yourself a little sway side to side. Ooh. All right, rock and roll. Last exercise, guys, coming forward. Cross your ankles. Walk your knees back into a quadruped. We're gonna finish off with a little shoulder glute series here. We're gonna come down to forearms. Can you curl your toes under and send your hips up and back? So it's like a really narrow down dog. We call this dolphin pose in our yoga series. I want you to scoot your feet back as much as you can so that when you come forward, you're gonna actually land back in a forearm high plank. So we're gonna go from bent knee downward dog Exhale, straighten out your knees and arrive at a high plank. So we bend our knees, send our tailbone high, press into your forearms, into your elbows, straighten out your knees, tuck your tailbone, find your high plank. Sorry, your forearm plank. Bend your knees, hips up. So we should be feeling a lot of work in our shoulders here. Abs and back, two more. Take it up. Exhale, find your high plank. Last one here, guys, take it up. And then exhale, find your high plank. Now hover and hold there, guys. Find your, your plank, your forearm plank, stay there, hang in. Yeah, so come on down, Cheryl, to your, your forearm plank. You got it, straighten your legs out. We're here for eight seconds. Keep pushing out of your forearms. Yeah, remember to breathe. This looks really, really good, Steph. Back of your neck is long. Zip up your inner thighs together. Dig into your big toes and pull your pubic bone under. Not if you feel a little difference there. Yeah, good, 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 three. You guys are so good, it's two. And when you're ready, come on down on one. Awesome job, keep your knees nice and wide. Send your tailbone back to your heels. Ooh. Lots of work, you guys. All right, start to crawl your fingertips towards the top of your mat. We're just doming out your fingers here. Really nice. Okay, we're gonna do a little easy chest opener to just move into our day. This one can be pretty intense, but let's come right down into a supine position on the top of your mat so your whole body's laying down. So setting this one up is a little bit tricky. Just see, uh, have eyes on me for just a sec. 
So from here, your right arm is gonna come out to the side, 90 degree angle. I'm gonna look over my left ear, right temple touches down. From here, we're gonna slowly make our way onto our right side body, tapping our left foot down behind our hips. Little chest and heart opener here. Doing a little roll. Nice work, guys. Big inhale to fill. And a big exhale to get empty. And send some breath right into the front of your shoulder, front of your chest, inhale. And then let your heart rate start to slowly come down. When you're ready, make your way back onto your front body. Release. And then bring your hands to center for a little baby cobra in the middle. So pressing your palms down, extending your sternum forward, lifting your heart, lifting your chest. So good, you guys. Slowly melt your chest back down. 90 degree angle with your left palm down. Look over your right shoulder. Lay your left ear on your mat. From here, slowly make your way to the left side of your body. That's it, really nice guys. If that's really intense, then you can just stay prone without the rotation. I love this stretch because when I stand up, it makes me feel so much taller. And I could really use some help with being taller. <laughs> I'm a shorty. Take one more inhale to fill. And one more exhale to get empty. Really nice, you guys, on your next breath. Slowly make your way back onto your front. We're gonna come out as slowly as we went in. Excellent. Walk your fingertips back to frame your shoulders. Push into your knees and let's just arrive in one more quadruped. We're gonna take a cat cow to finish. Take a breath in through your nose. As you exhale, tuck your chin, round your back out, pull your shoulder blades apart as you shift your gaze between your thigh bones. Inhale. Exhale, the exact opposite. So dip your belly down, exaggerate the arch through your back and peel your chest forward. One more time, guys. Inhale, exhale, press it around. Oh, getting ready to jump right back into our day. Dip your belly down, find your cow, and then release your bum back onto your heels. Nice work, you guys. Big breath in here. Last little side bend. This is how we started our workout. Fingertips touch the floor. Reach right up and out of your left thigh. So we did this standing big oblique stretch. We did a lot of obliques today. Inhale, back to center. Left fingertips touch down. Right arm reaches up. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you have the most awesome week. Thank you. Great job. And that's your express. So you're good.